Hello everyone, here with a project update. So previously I released this application, the Rec Room Image Browser. It was only available on Windows and it you could use it to view images found on RecNet, uh, public images, as well as sort and display them or filter for certain images that you're looking for. Um, these are all features that currently do not exist on RecNet. Um, and when I initially released this, I said that I wasn't going to be updating it anymore with any additional features because I wanted to convert it over into an actual hosted website that could be used on all browsers, platforms, mobile devices, etc. So today is finally the day. Um, I now have a hosted website out here, recnetextratools.com. I have a landing page here. Uh, I spent a whole five minutes on it, so don't uh, critique it too hard. Um, start off the top, little description, started this project officially on February 9th of this year. Um, so if you look at the calendar, when this uh, video goes up, it's about four months, give or take. Uh, just like last time, it is out on GitHub. So if you're curious how this works, the source code is out there for viewing. Um, just like RecNet, um, it is a React.js application. Um, it uses a lot of the same tooling that RecNet uh, uses to run. And so if we want to get to the image browser, I have a version here because I don't have a change log right now. So when I update it, I just update this version number. I'm next on my agenda is making a change log so you can see what exactly I'm adding each night. Because I do update this nightly, which is another perk of having this as a website. Is I can just throw out updates nightly um, and you don't have to wait for an update to happen to the application. So if you click on here... Uh, very familiar looking UI. Uh, we have a header here with all of our controls, drop downs, um, the image location. You can look for photos from a user photo feed, photo library, the RecNet homepage, or you can pull up the photo feed from a room. And as you can see, as I click on these, the uh, UI does update accordingly. So, global image feed, you obviously don't need uh, a username. So, we'll go back to user feed, uh, newest to oldest, type in my name hit load images take just a moment and as you can see 3300 images have now been loaded um, it does have lazy loading so I'm only loading the images that you can see uh, this is perfect for slower connections it makes the application remain really super snappy so if we're down here say we've been scrolling for a while uh, really enjoying the images that we're seeing you want to get back up to the top real quickly just hit this up arrow and it'll throw you right back up to the top just like the image browser, if you'd like to get more information regarding an image or just see the full resolution image, click on the image. It brings up this uh, modal here. So the uh, metadata for that image, um, as well as the RecNet link. If you'd like to copy the URL to your clipboard, just click this button here. Copy this straight to your clipboard. So now if you do a control uh, paste, uh, it'll paste that URL. If you click on this URL, it does open up in a new tab. So it doesn't uh, affect this tab at all or lose your spot when you're looking at images. So to show off the filtering, uh, new filter menu that I've added, click on this. Uh, currently there are four options, user account, room, date, and date range. Um, as I'm recording this video tonight, I am working on even adding cheer and comment count. Uh, so you can search for photos that only have, say, 15 or more cheers uh, on them. So for an example demonstration here, we'll search for uh, Bathia in Rocco's photos. So it happened real quick there, but this was gray and then turned purple. Purple means it is a valid uh, username that is found out on RecNet. If I try to add an invalid name, this person does not exist. You'll see it says invalid value. If I try to search right now and filter, it's only going to use this first one. This one is just trash, so you may as well get rid of it. If you click off of this right now, it's going to say error because you have an invalid value. Click off of this, we now say one load images brings us down to 228 images these are images that are on Rocco's uh, photo feed and contain Bathia so next we'll do a uh, user account that we don't want to see in these photos uh, just for example purposes we'll put in Maloko you'll see this is outlined but also has that similar purple color that means it's a valid username click off load images now we're down to 184 images Next, we'll do room. This is another criteria that is validated, so we're going to type in a valid name here. As you can see, valid name, close, load images. 
Now we're down to 10. Finally, we're going to do a date range. I only want to see photos that appeared this year. So I'll go to January 1st, and we'll do today. Add that item. As you can see, all the criteria have uh, icons that tell you what they are. Uh, so people have a person icon, uh, rooms have a house icon, and the date range has a calendar with some days on there. So we have these four criteria, as you can see, by the four badge icon up there, load images. Now we're down to six. If you'd like to sort these images, say I want to see the highest cheer number first, load images, and of course it's going to be the image with Bathia and Soul Fox in it, uh, rocking a cheer count of nine. You can see all those people in there too as well. So that's pretty much all the features so far uh, with the image browser. And because this is um, a website application, it does work well on all screen sizes. If it doesn't, be sure to let me know of any problems you see. But as we can see here, I'll load up a bunch of images. Oops. As we switch over to phone mode here. So for an example, here is what the image browser would look like on a mobile device. Uh, here's an iPhone screen. Uh, so we have same thumbnail size, click on it. The modal does fit within the bounds of the screen, real nice. Uh, if you like that filter criteria, same easy way to do that. Switch over to an iPad. This is the next largest screen. Again, same thing. It's resizing to fit the screen size. Switch back out to the desktop version here. But that's pretty much the gist of the entire project. Um, feel free to send me feedback and ideas. I'm coming up to the end of uh, the features that I foresee with the Rec Room Image Browser. Um, the URL is, you know, extra tools. I do have intentions of adding um, additional um, tools to help enhance uh, everything we do with RecNet. So look out, be on, be on the lookout for uh, future projects. That's all I have. Thanks for watching and enjoy using it.